and the day that golf fans wait all year for. Today is, day, is the day one of the world's oldest and most famous majors, the Open. Yeah, fans from across the world have flocked to Sandwich in Kent to see who will win the famous claret jug. But they could have gone to Rednall near Birmingham instead, as Dan Pallett explains. This is game number one on the team. From Northfield, Isabel Godfrey. She was opening a tournament for the next generation. Although the claret jug was at stake, this was the open with a difference. 120 school children descended on Rednall Hill Junior School today for a competition. The school is blessed with its own nine-hole course. And it's not just from golf. It's also about skills for life. They're bringing in a lot of the social skills, uh, learning how to play fair, how to support each other, all those things which are important in later life. Today wasn't just about competition. Support from the Golf Foundation meant there were also skills coaching from golf professionals. Yeah. Now, part of the event is a competition for the longest drive of the day. That wasn't it. Best to leave it to the experts, the children. It's calm and quiet and you can just have a game with your mates and have a nice conversation with them. We've won nationals once and we've been through to the finals twice. That's why we think we can win today. And it turns out she was right. Today's tournament was won by the home team, Rednall A. But perhaps the biggest achievement was that 120 pupils from inner city Birmingham were playing the game of golf. Dan Pallet, BBC Midlands Today in Rednall. That's oh, really good. And yeah. they have better weather there than either sandwich, I can tell you. Yeah, it was nice there, wasn't it? Mm. Quiet, so they could have a chat. They went around.